Good morning, you guys. I'm here. <laughs> Just last minute things to do. Um, I was in bed this morning thinking, oh no, it's Saturday. Let's um, let's just sleep in, which I can't do anyways. I bet you a lot of you are like me. Uh, once you have a regular wake up time, you just get up. And I'm thinking, I really got to finish off getting that kink out of my neck. And um, you just got to, you know, stay on top of it, right? It's like, I, I can't afford to go backwards. So here we are. We're doing the stretch. All right. Um, go and lay down, please. Go on and lay down. Lay down. So we're just going to do that. Um, hang on. We're just going to do that. Uh, um, just our basic rotation, right? And uh, pre preparation. There we go. And there. Okay, so up tall, feeling some tightness from uh, uh, even Wednesday, right? A nice turn here. At this point, you know what works best for you. So. I'm going to whip through. I haven't even decided which ones we're going to do yet, but um, definitely something for my neck. I had a little massage um, on Friday. Friday. Yeah, I went and got my nails done, and I noticed they had one of those massage things. So I took a 10-minute one to just get some of that those knots out. It really helped. It really helped. So this would be up, turn, and over. And I'm in New York again. So um, Monday last week, I drove back to Philadelphia and I'm here again. I drove back here on Friday to help out with some family stuff. And so I'm feeling a little stiff. That's And good. You know, I think we'll do this can opener and get um, the shoulders going a bit and the TikTok. Okay, Mac, why don't you lay down? Lay down, buddy. Lay down right here. Just lay down. There you go. Okay, we'll do that. All right, can opener right here. Goose neck would be, um, or hands flat would be easier, right? You don't have that far to go in. And as you get stronger and more flexible and your brain is in the game. You can take it out a little wider. You can take it out with a ball as well. All right, so it's just resistance out, resistance in, stretch and strengthen. Beautiful. Yeah, the kids were all dressed to come down with me and then they found something better to do, which is fine. I love having them here, but I really, really, well, last time I fell off the, um, the bench, I was just trying to focus on too many things. Good. It's all fun and games until someone falls off a bench. Nice. And one more here. Yeah, not feeling too bad. So that was the can opener for here. Let's do the TFL drop. And now this is one I do actually have some wall space that I can do, but here, doing that TFL, drop, stretching it over, all right? Or you could do just um, stretching it deeper, right? Pressing away, pushing in, and then dropping. Manipulate this the way you feel it works for you. I'm just gonna do a few here, and then I'm gonna go up against the wall yeah, because see how you can compensate for that stretch. If you're against a wall, you're forced to stay up here. Oh, that pulls it right in. Good. <clears throat> Press down and your heel can come up and down, right? Good. And then the drop away from that muscle group, away from the insertion. And here I go. I'm going to take it over to the wall. See how that, oh, over to the coffee. 
That was convenient. <laughs> All righty, let's see here. Creating the tension, contraction, and then stretching it by bringing your toes, your other foot, pulling it back. And once again. Mm -hmm. Nice. Now, for that stretch, I can't go very far here, but that's okay. Objective observer, see where you're at today. You can even assign um, a reason, like not an excuse, a reason, like this might be tight because I did this workout or because I lifted this box at home. So just to be aware that there's always a cause and effect, right? Here we go. This side, my back could be up a little high. Oh yeah, there we go. So when your back is totally up in good posture, this, you'll see. <laughs> That's all I have to do right there. I don't have to move very much. Wow. Okay. There, it's always good to take an accounting of your flexibility, lat pull. So, this one is out front, drive the hand in to create the tension, and pull back. And I'm going to take it over away from me further, drive the hand in, create the tension, when I say drive, I'm not saying cause um, discomfort in your joints. Sometimes if you press too hard, these joints get too much, um, you know, impact. Uh, so applying pressure means driving it in until you can feel a contraction, all right, in the muscle group at the top of your back. Nice job. And see, we'll do it all upper body today. That's fine. We'll do one lower body, get that limber, and uh, maybe tomorrow show up and do a little more lower body. And nice. Okay, while we're here, I betcha. Oh, the praying mantis. Let's first of all do the gorilla. I think it's called the gorilla, isn't it? Doesn't matter. It's this one. When your hands are um, rotated quite <laughs> 180, 90 degrees, whatever. And then the pressure is there, is it not? Because your body is applying the pressure. And then you're just going to... Mm, on back. And and I'm going to do one more. Now if you can rotate, I don't have a lot of ability to rotate my elbows. I've seen it happen where people can fix their hands and rotate the elbows closer together if you understand what I mean. I don't have that ability so but that would make um, that would uh, change the focus of the stretch on those uh, forearms. Okay I wanted to do there was one more here the lat pull TFL piano but it was just here. I believe it was, um, oh, there it is, praying mantis. So, rest a little bit. Praying mantis is um, driving your elbows into the floor, external rotating arms out, and then pulling back. Okay, lean back. So here.
and because that carpet's just a little bit rough for me um, here and here, so externally rotate, so you're kind of pressing your elbows out, kind of pushing the carpet away, creating that tension and then leaning back. Such an amazing feeling. These, this stretch depth, mm. I don't even know if you, if you can picture this, underneath your um, shoulder joint, that shoulder blade, if you can kind of flare those up and open and then pull back, there's such an incredible um, deep stretch underneath the shoulder blades, which really, it makes a lot of difference for shoulders, I find. This is um, layman's terms <laughs> and layman's experience, okay? You could probably talk to a physiotherapist or, or, or a masseuse and they'll tell you exactly what's happening there. Uh, quad lunge. Shout out to Taylor here. Tight quads. It's a real bugger, I know. Press your foot into your hand and then just lean forward. Most, a lot of people, and, and uh, I'm thinking of Taylor now, you know, this might be the whole stretch. This might be it. And you keep showing up and doing this. That's it. You don't have to do this leaning forward and back, you know. Um, this is what you gotta show up for. And it's painful. So you probably don't want to show up for it, <laughs> right? Good. And Pressing down, driving forward, if that is in your cards. And one more. Okay, I said that this was going to be a 20 minute workout. Just like those girls back in the day. So let's go for TikTok. Hands clasped, fingertips clasped. And that creates tension. And then the tension comes when you press your head into it. Hello, here's our buddy. Right here, I've saved your spot. Say good morning, girls. Good and guys, morning, <laughs> we're just finishing up. So, and I'm gonna do this stretch and then we're gonna let it, give it over to you to finish up our, our workout, okay? okay? So just this, Mac, you're not in this, you're not in this. Sit here, buddy. So here, sorry guys. Um, clasping fingertips. Creating tension, creating tension, and then you're going to pull down with one arm and resist with the other one, right? All right, so there you go. And I'm on my good side here, so I can see, my brain can absorb um, the movement. And then we'll go over to the side that's a little bit um, knotted up. It has a good idea of how it should feel and how far it should go. Good. I'm going to do that one more time. Do you know the stretch you're going to do, honey? Push-ups. Oh, okay. That is a very good stretch, you know. I'm going to do them with you. I actually, because I have this little knot in my neck, I, I know I said this was my last one, but there is a very, um, um, do you like my little pictures? Look at, there's my basic rotation. Do you see? That's Everett. <laughs> um, it is called Gooseneck. Just finishing with this arm drill. It's the arm drill. The arm drill really pulls in that neck area. So this is your waitre, waiter or waitwi, waitress hand. And you're going to rotate it. Um, externally rotate. And then I am going to add the tension to my neck here. And find the place that suits my knot. You find the place that suits yours. I'm going to do that one more time. External rotation and turn. And little then, girl um, is coming. Is the little girl coming? She's got her uh, stretching suit on. Can she come down the stairs herself? I don't know. You should know that. You're her big brother. She can. Okay. And let's just do the other side. I should have done this side first. Mm. 
Beautiful. What a great stretch. Aren't you glad we did this? I'm so glad we did this too. Because we could have stayed in bed and watched. What cartoon were we watching? The one with the airplanes. Planes. The, the, I'm going to tell that to the girls. Okay, you're going to tell that to the girls. Well, first you have to explain the push up. And actually, the push up as a stretch is amazing because your resistance is your body weight, right? And then you just yeah. slow it up, slowly weight, and lower into a nice chest stretch. So, are you going to come and show us now? Because we're going to wrap it up and get out. Get out in the sunshine. Right here, bud. There you go. So, push up. Good. There. So as he comes down, you're going to put your head down a little bit. There you go. And stretch the whole chest area in your mat. Go, please. I'm going to do one with him. Let's do it together. So right there, I'm at a full stretch and my body weight's on there. Is that right? Oh, and then again, ease in and all the way. Mac, I was going to try. go, go, One. go. Oh my goodness. Our camera skills are poor today. <laughs> oh. Three. Three. Two. And one Three. more. Good. One. Okay. Two. Can I show you what we do? And then you can do it too, right here. Put your feet out in front. Sit up nice and tall. Good basic rotation. We turn, turn, turn face that way. Just your upper body. See this hand here? Put it behind you like that. And turn your whole body. There you go, nice. Okay, so that's our basic rotation. And we're gonna turn the other way, right? Follow grandma. And turn this way. Look at us. They're going to put us on TV one day, don't you think? Say, bye girls, have a great Saturday. Bye and guys, Grandma. probably Dawn, say hi Dawn. Hi Dawn. <laughs> so, bye girls and bye. Guys, guys. <laughs> talk to you tomorrow. We, we will probably come for a stretch tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Thanks. See you later. Mm -hmm.